Today I'm taking you with me so you can have a glimpse of my real daily tennis life. You know, the one no one actually ever sees. Hopefully you'll come along and get to know me a tiny bit better. You ready? Monday is one hell of a day for me. Just warning you. That's how my days usually start, me snoozing the alarm clock, asking for 5 extra minutes and hoping that my boyfriend forgets to kick me out of bed, which never happens by the way. Every morning for breakfast I have a big fruits, veggies and berry smoothie, because it's healthy and easy to digest, but also gives me energy for the many hours until lunch. And it's also a great way to hide all the green veggies I would otherwise never eat. It doesn't take long to make, as we meal prep everything that can be meal prepped in advance, but oh boy, it takes a ages to drink. That's why I have to count one hour to get out of the house, not because I'm slow to get ready. About one hour before practice I leave and run to the bus stop, hoping the bus is not going to be early. Yes, in Finland that happens quite often, but lucky for me today my legs feel quite fresh and my sprint is fast enough to literally catch the bus on the fly. Yay! I spend my 20 minutes ride refreshing the Australian Open app every few seconds because Rublev and Rune are doing crazy stuff in the fifth set. And I just cannot take my eyes off the score. Once I get off, I enjoy the views on my way to the club since there's no rush. I always try to get there early so I can warm up before and not waste a single minute of court time. It's so expensive that it just wouldn't feel right. Today is the first day of the HPP program, which means it's strength training week two. So since I'm going to spend quite a lot of time at the gym, I'm just going to have one hour of Ooh, practice one to one and then I will do some serves and coaching with my boyfriend and then head to the gym. Today's practice is so much fun! I love to start the week this way. After warming up my ground strokes and working quite a lot on my volleys, one of my big goals of the season, it's time for a new super cool drill. On a break, I told Dom that I wish there was a way to never miss those easy drop shots I often get to, just to hit in the net. So he came up with this. We hit through the middle until Dom does a drop shot. I ran to it and hopefully finish the point at the net. Ah, so nice! For some reason, I really love sprinting forward and trying to pick up drop shots. I don't know, when it comes to drop shots, I don't even care whether it's me or my opponent who does them. I just have too much fun chasing them down myself or see my opponents running around. is over and it's now time to coach my boyfriend. He wants to get good too, so he better work hard and get those reps in. By the way, I'm not a coach and I don't want to be, but since he's my cheerleader number one, I think he deserves it. Actually, to be completely honest, I'm also being a bit selfish. I'm coaching him so he can get good fast and be my sparring partner soon. We finish the session with some surf practice, more for me than for him, because hey, my surf sucks and I need to get better before he catches up with me. done, serve practice done, time for the gym. Today's workout is long and frankly a bit boring, just like anything that is done in the gym, too static for my taste. I mean, I don't even get sweat, is this even a sport? Okay, enough complaining, after all it's just four supersets, let's get it done! done no more strength sessions till next monday how good is that it's snowing 
so cool. Let's try not to miss the bus this time. Made it. Let's say goodbye to the light of today because next time I will get out it will be pitch black. Once home, it's finally time for pasta. I'm starving. No wonder it's 4 p.m. Then my daily five minute meditation and finally a tiny bit of work at the computer. Today on the agenda is replying to the comments of the latest video and writing the script for the new one, AKA this one. I barely have time to start, but it's time to get out again and chase another bus. And here I am on the go again, this time to the osteopath. I'm not going too often to the but I should definitely go more often. I'm going now twice a month. When I'm broken, when I'm not broken, it doesn't matter. I know he's the one keeping me in shape and in one piece, which is quite needed. Okay, now I see the bus, so I need to run. Bye! Made it! The trip is super short. It takes five minutes by bus. It's actually longer to get out of the bus terminal than the trip itself. Which is why I usually come by foot. But hey, not on strength day and not in this dark, please. Session done. Ha, ah, it was so nice. Auntie never disappoints. Turn out I had pulled a muscle. No wonder I was feeling stiff. Take over the tennis world! Quick snack before getting back to work a little longer and then partial stretching. Without it, I wouldn't be able to stay in one piece. For real, it's life changing! I've been doing it about three times a week for the last two years and not planning to stop anytime soon. Now quick dinner, a bit of planning for tomorrow and then to bed. Time to sleep! Hope you enjoyed this video! If so, smash the like button and subscribe for more tennis life! And I'll see you in the next one!